I think um, I think I saw him at George's Spaghetti House. I think that was the first time I saw him, and then um, I go to his house on uh, Wellesley Street, or his little apartment he had, quite often, and uh, he'd usually have a guitar out, and he was either working something out or just playing, you know. And then a situation came up where I needed uh, to put a group together for the uh, a Sutton place, Top 33. And uh, I engaged him, and he was with me for 12 weeks, six nights. Sutton place was a very lovely room, Stop 33 on the top of this very elegant hotel. And so consequently, a lot of people that might not have gone down to Georgie's Spaghetti House or some of the jazz uh, places in Toronto got to see him. So it was a charming room. They had... The ceiling was identical to the ceiling in the um, Peacock Alley in the Waldorf Astoria, with the little twinkling light like mm. stars. And it's a quartet again. I think Dave Young and uh, uh, Gary Gorga, I think, was the drummer. I think Marty Morell worked with us for a short time, and it was a wonderful uh, union. I really did enjoy it. Did Lenny ever do uh, solo spots where he would just play solo guitar with oh, your yes. band? Oh, I'd feature him, yeah. Okay. Just let him do whatever he wanted to do. He was so beautiful to look at, you know, and to see him sitting there on that stool, and he wasn't very tall, as you recall, mm-hmm. I'm sure, and he had a most beautiful face, very sensitive. He was so gentle and so, I hate to use the term feminine, but he was just like a beautiful young girl almost Mm. he was so sensitive and uh he was so beautiful and one night he was playing and he you know he looked so lovely there playing and and played so beautifully i just went up to him and put my arms around him and give him a kiss on the cheek (laughs) yeah he just just absolutely he was so beautiful and in such a gentle kind sort of individual deeply concerned with music and completely devoted that he brought and of course he brought um, a, a genius talent when it came to uh, a cappella playing and to watch him play you know with his fingers and his fingernails you know he had to be so careful with them they're all very long as you know so he could play that style and um, it was fascinating to watch him it was a it was an additional attraction. It really was. There's no doubt about it. I was very, very fond of him, and one of the most outstanding guitarists that I've ever played with. It. Uh, he was unique. He was. It was Lenny Bro. It, was, it wasn't anybody else. I've worked with Joe Pass, Bucky Pizzarelli, Ed Bickett, um, Red Schwager, all the major guitarists, and uh, they were all marvelous. But um, mm-hmm. as a soloist, he, he was. Outstanding. He was the man. Always played beautifully. That's quite a challenge playing with somebody like that. It's really something uh, to play with that kind of genius. He would add so much to it, you know. He was um, the most outstanding soloist, and uh, he would do things on the guitar that you would, you'd never heard before or seen anyone do. He would play lines and, and accompany himself. You'd have a like an eighth note thing going on uh, underneath that, or that, or that, and he'd be playing a melody on top of it with right. another finger. It was just, I don't know how he did it. I, well, I do it. A lot of practice, practice, yeah. practice, practice. But no one, to me, it seems, has come any, anywhere near uh, the style or uh, the facility of Lenny Bro. And, and did that strike you the first time you played with him in... Um Oh, yeah. It was amazing, yeah. Right. He was one of those people that makes you feel really uh, like you've arrived, you know. It was like playing with Hank Jones when I used to play with him. It was so great. And, of course, playing with Benny and then playing with Mel Tomei and mm-hmm. even with Sinatra. It was the, they gave you that, you know, it was like the good serving house of, of approval, if you will. Good housekeeping seal of approval in that sense, right. but uh, with him, you know, you 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 work with him, and uh, it was like you stepped up a notch, and it made it made you sound made one sound so great. Play a melody line with those kind of changes behind you in that style. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 